Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, and special guests 50 Cent and Anderson Peck put on a show no hip-hop fan will forget at the Super Bowl 56 on Sunday, February 13th. Prior to the star-studded performance, though, there was speculation over how the NFL, a traditionally conservative organization, might censor the set. A report that was later refuted claimed the league had prohibited the performers from taking a knee in solidarity with Colin Kaepernick in order to avoid turning its premier event into a divisive culture war moment. The NFL also reportedly tried to block Dre from rapping the line, still not loving police, from Still Dre, while banning Snoop from wearing gang-related clothing. Lo and behold, the Pepsi halftime show went ahead without any of these rumors proven to be true. Eminem did indeed take a knee after performing Lose Yourself. Dr. Dre declared he still doesn't love police while performing his 2001 hit, and Snoop Dogg proudly rocked a blue outfit while crip walking on stage. However, in an interview with TMZ on Monday, February 14th, Dr. Dre admitted the NFL did make minor changes to the All-Star Super Bowl set, namely the Kendrick Lamar's medley. There were a few things that we had to um, change, but it was like really minor things. Um, M taking the knee, that was M doing that on his own. And there was no problem with that. Um, I think, you know, the beginning of Kendrick's sets, he says, um, if Pyrus and Crips all, they had a problem with that. So we had to take that out. No big deal. We get it. But mm -hmm. All in all, everybody came in, we were professional, everybody was on time, and everybody really felt the magnitude of what this thing was and, and what we were gonna be able to accomplish. And it was it was a fantastic experience. Elsewhere in the interview, Dr. Dre revealed he treated himself to a McDonald's after the show and hit the studio with Mary J. Blige, whose new album he's working on. We actually were gonna put you at the top of the show, but you weren't available because you, I'm told, <laughs> You wanted to make you wanted to make a Burger King run because you hadn't had Burger King in so long because you wanted to be yeah, in shape man. for the you, show. <laughs> you know what? My my uh, my trainer is going to be upset about this conversation. But, uh, yeah, and, and by the way, by the way, Harvey, it was I made a, a a turn instead of Burger King. I went to McDonald's. There's something about those McDonald's <laughs> fries. The fries, man. right? <laughs> Oh, right. People, so, you know how many people you know, have been I'm there? I'm like, you know, I deserve it today. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna treat myself and go on a pig out today. <laughs> that is hysterical. Uh, I think <laughs> no one's gonna. <laughs> you, you definitely earned that, man. Uh, have all the McDonald's you want. You could have had both. I had McDonald's and Burger King. Hey, right. <laughs> just real quick, um, what did everybody else say? What did Mary, Mary J. Blige? What did Eminem? What did Snoop? How what did they, they say to you? How did they? Every, how did they react let afterwards? You, let me tell you, man. Everybody was extremely excited. You know, Mary, Mary came back here to the house um, last night, and we went downstairs to the studio. And she was playing me samples, and and we were just vibing out because, um, you know, we're talking about working together on her next project. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be saying this or not. So I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm excited about it. But what do you think about these minor changes that the NFL did to the halftime show? Do you think they should let Kendrick Lamar say his police lyric if they let Dr. Dre say his police lyric? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.